It is Jumper Griffin's Story for the Xbox 360. I've never played this game. Uh, I think I got this from a game shop or something for a couple bucks. You know me, I'll buy anything, any game for a couple dollars, so... I don't expect this to be good. But I've played shit before. I don't think this can be that much worse than anything else I've played. So we're going to begin it. I have seen the movie. Do I remember the movie? Absolutely not. Other than the fact that Hayden Christensen and Rachel Bilson are in it. I don't think this is going to have much to do with the movie. Yes, we are outside. Having a good night, summer night here. By the pool. The bugs have been... Not that annoying tonight, to be honest. A little chilly now, but it actually feels really nice. The moon's pretty bright. My father once said that to remain a free soul means always being in a state of revolt. You were right. He clocked his Honestly, this art style is pretty cool. But we don't always get to choose our fights. Look at that tree. Apologize if you guys can't hear the game that well sometimes because the volume on this TV doesn't really work too well. The TV I'm using, like the uh, to change it, it's kind of funky. So I kind of get it to one volume and kind of have to try to keep it there. I'll try to bring up subtitles if they are in the game. So is that Griffin? We play as him, grown up or something? <laughs> Brash Entertainment made this game. From Sunset Boulevard in Hollywood, California. People not minding their own business, you hate that? What is he eating, like a Kit Kat? Does he think he's freaking Batman up there? Just how have you stayed alive, Casanova? Guardian Angel? Dumb luck? All I know is that the Paladins want you bad, which means if I stay glued to you, sooner or later the bastards will show. Smooth operator, mate. No aphrodisiac like musty stone ruins where they fed people to lions. <laughs> what a player. What a player. We do have the manual with this game, too. Maybe I'll just thin him out a bit so you and I can have a nice uninterrupted chat. What's the gameplay going to be like in this freaking game? To move Griffin around the world, use the left stick. All right, here we go. And then you, lo you lost your Diamond 3 as quick as you got it. What the heck? Jumper was one of your all-time favorite movies. So much potential. It could have been, it, it could have been like a whole universe thing. I haven't seen the movie in like, probably since it was like around when it was out. Don't expect much from the game, Josh. I don't think the game's gonna be that good here. Oh crap, look at that slide. Look at this. He's safe Mark in the second base. <laughs> to do a jump attack, either X, Y, A. So to do a jump attack, you just press any button basically. The attack buttons correspond to which side you'll attack the enemy from, depending on your camera view. Great. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. You're gonna die on your own. Are we gonna do this the hard way? Which one's me? I don't even know which one I am. <laughs> oh, 
Wait. Oh, okay. So you can kind of like warp around. If you attack an enemy on their green side, you will increase your power, which is displayed on the power bar. See what happens when your power bar is filled up. Oh. Wait. I'm getting my ass kicked because I don't know. Okay, uh... <laughs> you have just filled your power bar enough to execute a power attack. Hold the left bumper and press one of the attack buttons to perform a power attack. If I don't die for it. Well, the combat's certainly interesting. I'll give it that. This got shoved. I didn't even know. I didn't even know which character I was for a long time there. Intruder. Your current target ends. Give it a uh, reticule. Insert from the floor beneath the enemy. Always attack. The enemy. Oh my gosh! This is. <laughs> I get it because you're a jumper, so you can like obviously teleport around and try to implement that. All right. I mean, I played much worse combat systems than this. It's not great, but it's. Sometimes I'm, I'm having trouble with figuring out where my guy is sometimes. What was that? Can I like block or something? What is that move? Be safe! Sliding in home! <laughs> Suck on that! Suck on what? Where am I? What happened? I'm, I'm sending him at the Grand Canyon. Was that like a finishing move? <laughs> I like... That's a pretty harsh finishing move. You have them fall down the Grand Canyon. To jump at any time, hold in the right bumper and use the left stick to move the reticule. When the uh, reticule turns blue, you can jump to that location by releasing the right bumper. I see. This is weird. Look at these graphics too. Very strange controls. Kind of looks like freaking Ben Stiller or something. Well, two later PS1 graphics, basically. Now, what do you fools want now? Ooh, I. The blue is the blue my health or what? I don't even know. I thought that was the bar is filling up for special power. There's an item in this room that you can collect. See if you can find it. You mean the one that's sitting right there? This one. To view your loot, go to your loot room from the main menu. There are several pieces of loot hidden around each area. 
Flies open and make sure you find it all. Where's my where's my loot room? Is like collectibles basically? Special collectibles. Got down in three again. <laughs> You're fluctuating. Honestly, it's better than Catwoman so far. It's better than Karate Kid and Total Recall and NES. It's better than probably better than Meet the Robinsons on GameCube. Better than Destroy All Humans on the Wii. Maybe. It, it, the control scheme is very weird now in this game. Like I don't. <laughs> Who's that guy? I call this one the Rick Ball. <laughs> Make sure not to attack an enemy on their red side. If you attack them on their red side, they will see you and perform a counter attack. But like it's hard to like tell which button I'm you need to press here. Oh, you're dead. Another random cutscene. Is this our next finishing move? Like just to leave him out in the Siberian winter? Him. What did you do? Alright, so jump targets. So up there basically it's telling me. Oh, up. Up where? I hope this game isn't more than like six hours long. In this room, you can pick up more powerful weapon than your current weapon. Keep an eye for weapons in later levels as the extra damage is vital to your success. So now we have like crowbar level two. To unlock combo finishers, find the comic books within the levels. It doesn't even tell me what I'm picking up, it's just like, there's just items and... Another room, another battle! Their counter move changes every t every time they, they move around. So like when I hit a button, see sometimes it's like it happens to be their counter. Oh, my, this is bad. Look, like I hit A there, but and then it changed into his counter move. going now. Oh, the, the desert. We dropped them off at an atomic bomb? These finishers are savage. Why you never come soon, <laughs> <laughs> Like, what? Oh, yeah, you're like, like the way I'm fighting. 
How would you like to die at the Grand Canyon? Or better yet, an atomic bomb. Oppenheimer. Who are we fighting now? Is that Lawrence Fishburne from the Matrix? To get through a guarding enemy's defense, you must do a slide attack. Okay. This is... This is kidding. Bad. <laughs> All right. All squad. Not a bad night's harvest. The lieutenant. This cutscene looks pretty Could cool. Be worth a few minutes of my time. Uh, the gameplay, though. I don't know about that. What the hell are you doing here? Rash entertainment. Who are these guys? Paladins. And they're gonna keep coming for you. Paladins kill jumpers. I kill paladins. Class dismissed. How do I get them off me? You don't. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have work to do. Kid takes the hint. I've been a terrible host. I must attend to my guest. I have only one question. I'll ask it once, politely. Where's Roland? Roland. The Roland. Wait, isn't that a... Uh... The Alpha and Omega. I almost had is that? Is he in the ago, movie? In Nepal. I can't remember if Roland's in the movie. Is that like... Save game, yes. Please. Well, we beat one part of it, at least. Who else is uh, outside streaming Jumper at 2.30 in the morning, guys? You only get that kind of action here. Background actually looks pretty nice there. This guy runs like he's about to trip every step. Like any moment now, I'm starting to just go, ugh. He's like so leaning over. Grab this. I guess we can't grab that. Resistant. Oh, another closed door, another battle. Your luck just ran out. Trying his best to stay on his feet, and uh, balance was never his strong suit. Game over, hot shot. Oh my God. <laughs> Look out! I might be sliding into your base. What am I guy doing? Freaking Spider-Man. Soon to be dead people. That was a hell of a good line. <laughs> a plus on the dialogue. Thing over here. Is that a comic book? Combo? I'm not gonna remember all these combos. Just hitting buttons. Oh, 
I go through that door, am I going to have to fight more guys again? What if I just keep going up? Why does his arm always like reach out to his left arm when he's running? <laughs> what is that all about? This guy's run cycle is so weird. Is that him trying to get, catch his balance? I didn't ask for this, but I'm here. Reminds me of like how jank the uh, Dark Angel game combat can get. That game, that that's a, that game could have been so like could have been like a hidden gem, honestly. The Dark Angel game, if they like made it a little bit easier and the combat better, because actually there's things I like about that stupid Dark Angel game. But I got stuck because it got so hard. It's just too hard. I would have liked to finish that game. Yeah, Dark Angel uh, for original Xbox. I think there's actually two Dark Angel games. It was a show starring Jessica Alba called Dark Angel. Yeah, they had a game. I mean, the graphics are good. It's got like her likeness, her voice acting and everything in the game. Some of the level design isn't that bad. But it's like so janky and hard and... The combat's like too tough to like be perfect with. You just die over and over again. It's I haven't played it in like a long time, but I did like a couple episodes of it to try and to get as far as I could. Hopefully this doesn't turn into another Dark Angel. Now that's health, I guess. I think the blue bar is my health. The green is like my special move. I don't know what those, the number in the top right is. I never heard of the show or anything. Yeah, it's like a, it was like a really pretty bad show, but. Whoa, maybe not such a slow night after. I have only seen like a few episodes. But the I got the game for a buck in a, in a thrift store. Or something like that. And I bought it for real cheap. But the, game, the game could have been like pretty good. Woohoo! He's having a good time out there. Is this game just battling guys in a room over and over again? He's gonna get boring really fast. And like in Dark Angel, you have to be like stealth in some areas, and the stealth mechanics are so bad. That's another big problem. It's just like that game was like more polished. It would have been like probably pretty damn good. He's got like a boss or something. Jeez, jeez. There's henchmen. There's health over there too.
<laughs> they don't want none of my slide. They keep jumping away. That's right. You don't want none of this. What the heck? To break out of a tether or net early, press any attack button. When the moving line is above the light blue area of the tether break bar. Jeez. Nice try, dude. Oh my gosh, this is a tough fight. What the heck? I'm just sliding all over the place. Catch me if you can. What was that that I just got? These items also aren't very hidden, they're just sitting here. Oh here, let's see what we do now. What's our what's our new finisher? That's the best part of the game, these finishers. By far. They're so savage. I'm half expecting one of these times to just... He's just gonna leave someone to be eaten alive by like a tiger or something. The worst finisher of them all would be leaving them in a room with nothing but a PS2 and Catwoman. That should be one. <laughs> a dark room that they can't get out of. A copy of Catwoman and a PS2. The TV. <laughs> like, no, don't leave me here. Gosh, I don't... There's so much going on now that I don't know what to do. This tether crap is annoying. My dream, yeah. The ultimate dream. Sounds like a fantastic fantasy, yeah. <laughs> it's a lovely dream. Was Samuel Jackson in well, Jumper? I, I, sorry, really. Was he the one that well, played Roland like in the movie? I want to show you something. All I see is a dead man. This is David Rice. He's a Jumper. I want him. Seems a bit young for you. He's managed to remain hidden from us his entire life. I need to know how. Remind me why I'm here? I have an offer for you. Help me find David. I have to find this guy, okay. Not interested. Not interested? How's the story gonna progress then? Are we or now we're fighting Roland? Okay. A jackal convention. There's no like dodge, like Oh I should wait, hang on. I think I just it's kinda like Right trigger, but also right trigger slide. I think I'm probably going to die here. It's like hard to tell because they're they're. Counter move is changing every second. So 
See, it's like when it, it's so hard to keep up with. They're gonna just keep countering you because you'll hit a button and it'll change to that as a counter. Goodness me. Is there more health around here? I'm about to die. This is a great workout. <laughs> Let's just keep sliding into him, I guess. Damn it, never mind. He's <laughs> still trying to get me. Okay, well, if you have more boss fights like that, it's going to be tough. Because, like, I need to see where, what buttons I, like, I can press to attack them, like, what side. It's like it's just ever changing. Do I have to fight all these guys again? Oh gosh. Not sure what you thought you were Oh come away. on. I gotta do all this again. guys surprised that this game isn't that good <laughs> sometimes I lose my character with all the warping that it is I'm like they all look like me too I can know Trying to save the health for the boss guy. I'm gonna hurt you, pretty. Are you? Jeez, man. the car finisher again and we're back <laughs> come on Another round of guys. Uh, it's just fighting guys at one after the other. It's all this game is. Well, maybe the next level is different. I don't know. It's fighting with crowbars and tethers. Which, I lost my character. I don't even see where it was. <laughs> Can you guys like, keep track of my character? Like this is... <laughs> he just whips all over the screen. I... <laughs> like, which one's me? I don't, I don't know I have the time. 
All right, let's do this again, Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> I should have like two health things left still. That was a good combo there. Him. Let's get this. Now for the messy but fun part. <coughs> like I see what they were going for with this combat, but it's it's just uh. no, I can't hit him. What the heck? So we'll get the other health before I die. That was a great not boss bad, fight. But not good enough. Tell me it was parents, I'll make it quick. completely the same we as everything else we were doing. Time. That's what separates us from you. Thanks. <laughs> There's a lot more that separates us. Right, I'm doing, I'm doing it, guys. We're getting through Jumper. These guys going to have ninja stars? You. These the people like murdered his parents or something? Clark Kent? Boy, this story is really jumping all over the place. Like seriously, like, okay, I guess we beat another level. It's two levels down. How many levels are in this game? Actually, I'm scared to look. It's gonna be like 20. There's a lot going on and there really is like, the, the, the cutscenes just like flash up different images and characters you're like what's even happening it's about as uh, confusing as Why the, you never come the combat he runs with the same hand what did they do that in the movie got a little setup here a little streaming setup right here dual monitors And like, how do we end up here in some like hideout thing? Like, This is like if they took the combat from X-Men Destiny and made it like bad. Have it your way. It's more confusing for no reason. Like, I get what they're trying to do, like trying to have you like morph around him, but I don't know. This is weird. Pick your own combo here. Oh, 
I have a sword now? Now I have a sword. Alright, I'll take the sword. What is this? That's more health. I don't even know what that was that we just got. There's like no communication to the players, like what you're even getting. Right on time. You things were going too well to last. Another room. Another fight against some dudes. Uh, this time I got a sword though. So glad I picked this one for my backlog of 360 games. I could have like chosen to play something that's actually good. I could have chosen to stream like Remember Me or something. For Sleeping Dogs, a game that I know is actually really good. But we gotta play the ones I haven't played sometimes. Because we might miss out on these hidden gems like Jumper. way uh, this place is a freaking maze and a half I don't oh you mean all that walking I led up to another room with more guys to fight I didn't expect that Oh my gosh. I love this camera angle. That's the uh, user imagination camera angle. Don't you chumps ever learn? Come on. At least they leave your health around. I, I can't tell if I'm going in circles either or what. I don't... Oh, here come more guys to fight. Our guest has arrived. Another item I picked up, I have no idea what it was. Hey, which one's me? <laughs> which one's me? I'm serious. Oh, this. Oh, over there. Only good paladin is You wish This is the whole freaking game. This would be the most boring game ever. Run to room, fight guys. Run to another room, fight more guys. Run to another room, fight more guys. I mean, this is more monotonous than a beat em up. At least there's like different kinds of bosses and enemy types in that game, and those kind of games. Alright, uh, grab that, grab this, I don't know, whatever that is. Jump. Uh, 
Everybody's doing like backflips and cartwheels. What is this? A competition? See who's the most flexible? Acrobatic? So it takes forever to build up your special mode. find health which I can't run 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 there's got to be some health in here somewhere there we go who am I fighting I, d d it's all over the place Definitely gonna kill me. Run. Oh, come on. He like shot me with something. Do I get a range attack? Probably not. They should've just made the teleports part of like a combo or something. And just had like standard combat with like a dodge move and everything. It would've been so much better than whatever this crap is. I'm gonna like guess which button to press. This is gonna hurt you way more than it does me. I, I'm just smashing buttons here because their, their red blocker is changing so frequently that it's impossible to keep up with in the flow of combat. Half the time, I don't even know where my character is. It's like each room is like its own checkpoint, too. Like, what was that? Because you have to constantly think about which button you need to press. Because as they're turning, so does the button press. So like, for instance, if they're facing away from the camera but towards my character, Y is now on the bottom as opposed to A being on the bottom. So you're like, you're, as you can see, it's just really confusing. You're like constantly thinking, oh wait, is that A, is that Y, is that X or B now? Like, it's, oh, it's so bad. end up over there. I was like all the way over here and ended up across the room.
Wait, oh shoot, we're back here? Oh, we got sent back pretty far. I didn't know we got sent back this far. We're back in this room. They must have thought this combat system was really good to make you use it every single second. Toast and I eat toast for breakfast. So it's great. Another fine piece of dialogue. guys that killed me before, I don't even freaking know. Leave me alone! I don't, how do I break the tether? Like, it won't let me do it anymore. This is... It's not, they have all these range attacks. Oh my gosh, they're just countering it. These guys are so hard. Like, what? I just... I can't break. <laughs> oh, this is awful. I'm about to die again. I have to do it all over. The game is just trapping you in a room, making you fight some enemies, and then doing it over and over and over again. I'm hoping I can find some more health somewhere. Like your Street Fighter gameplay. I think I button mash more in this game than I do in Street Fighter. This is bad. Like, there's the the combat is like it's terrible. Mara, get rid of the Maria. I think it's impossible not to take damage from all these guys because their counter move is ever changing. And it's like always gonna. And they have like range attacks too. Like it's impossible to get. It's like a guessing game as to which button's gonna be their counter. And it's always changing. Uh, depending on the counter angle. It's so much to keep up with. It's like I'm looking at a game of Simon Says on the bottom of each character I'm fighting. So much to, to do to get further in this game right now. Oh, 
And it takes way too long to charge up like your, your special move. Leave that health out here so I have two to fight the other guys with. I'm hoping I can beat the other room with the health I have right now. What the heck? So how do I how do I like see? What weapon I have and everything. Come on, ain't got time to bleed. So there's no way to your pause screen. This is all it is. There's no way to even see like what weapon upgrade you have or anything like that. I was looking for a wall that hide half the screen. Yep. They love that use your imagination camera angle in this game. Not that I even need to look at the screen to do this combat, because I can pretty much look at you guys while I'm doing this here. Ah, the, the stars, the put the stars are out right now. Kind of nice. See so those you can see planets at night too, but they have to be really clear. Planets, I might be able to do it. The moon's pretty good here too. Did I kill anybody? I don't even know if I killed anybody while I was looking away. Gameplay. Expert gameplay here. I wonder who the world record jumper speedrunner is. It's about to be me, first person to beat the game. I mean, uh, why you never come see the dinner? I hate these guys so much. Oh, I gotta go get health. I gotta go get health. No, I can't because they just keep hitting me with projectiles. It just isn't fair. Hey, where's the health? I thought I saved one in here. I did. It's over here. Should I say? Gonna need the other one soon too. Like I can't touch these guys. And I'm so weak compared to them. And I keep doing that. I can't even <laughs> There's no dodge. Get up. Died again because I couldn't run away. These guys are impossible. It shouldn't take long. They're just like experts at the game. You can't do anything. Like you can't dodge them. You can't block them. <laughs> There's no dodge or block. Like my damage is so minuscule compared to theirs. We gotta do such a bad game. The more I play it, the more I don't like it. It's just not fun. Like we played some interesting games on 360 over the past. We did that Men in Black game, and that game was like all right for a rail shooter like it wasn't the worst thing there was like a really bad boss the gi joe game was really good i think that game was actually a hidden gem gi joe rise of cobra that's actually a fun game i had a good time with that, that was unexpected
Falling Skies is certainly better than I thought it would be. This, however... This... is just... I don't know. So, like I said, sometimes I don't even know which character I am. It's all going so fast. They keep tethering me and comboing me. in here, I guess. Like, I wish I could, like, run faster to get away. He gets stuck on everything. There's, like, he has, like, such a horrible acceleration, too, when he goes to run. It takes forever to get him going. So not only can you not dodge, you can't even move fast enough to get away from their attacks. And it's not fair that they all have projectiles. And I don't have anything. This is so bad. Gosh, and we got another good one on our hands, guys. This is going to be another painful one. Let me get the health right away. Now we took a business, huh? See, I love that this guy can throw stuff at me. Like, their moves cancel out mine half the time. I'm doing no damage to them. Oh, one guy's trying to attacking me, the other guy's shooting me. I'm jumping around like the Matrix. I have to go get the other health already. Stuck in the table! Stuck on the table, I couldn't move. The guy just comes to a complete halt when he hits anything. This might be as far as we get in this freaking game. This is impossible. Like, it's so hard right, right now. Like, you can't get away from those guys' attacks. Their health, they're like so much stronger, quicker, and better than any of these other enemies. It's bad enough you gotta fight like 25 other enemies before you even get, have to fight them. Oh my gosh, this is so bad. This is so bad. Let me get that power up. If I can get to these first couple fights with, all, with like a good amount of health, then I could save some health for later too, but I can't. There's 15 enemies all shooting and swinging at me. I can't. I need to be able to block or dodge or something. Sometimes I think I'm getting hit in a combo, then I realize that's me hitting them. Because I can't even tell something. I 
hate the tethering. It's not fair. We can. Why do they get to shoot? I can't. I can't defend them all off. This is incredible. Incredible. Hit her, hit her, hit her. It's like I'll be in the middle of a combo, then they just break it up with a combo of their own, and then I'm done. But you can't stay in rhythm at all in this game. Come on, come on, come on. No. Gosh. All right, now we have like a decent amount of health. We still have two health cans in here too. Now we took a business. Problem is I get stuck fighting and I can't get away from them. They counter everything. Can't touch them. I have a bad thing we're gonna fight like hundreds of these guys throughout the game too. I can't get to the health! Oh the movement's so bad! I can't Oh my gosh, this is so bad. I just want to be able to fight them normally, not with these stupid controls. How do they counter every move I do? Every single move. I swear, every button I press is their counter. It's ridiculous. Can you feel the pain? You guys can feel that through the through the through the energy here, can't you? Oh my gosh, this is this is terrible. Like there's no block, so you can't defend yourself. There's no way to defend yourself. All you can do is try to pull off your combo moves. There's no proper dodge. There's nothing. You're just left scrambling around while they just tank you. There's a roll, but that doesn't really work all the time. And it doesn't even go the direction you want it to go. And again, like you're... Your special attack is never there. I don't even know how you build up your special attack. Get out, get out of there. I don't want to accidentally get that health, so... Nah, nothing in the manual. It just said there's a roll thing, which is that right there. But again, that kind of just goes whichever direction it wants to go. And sometimes he slides. There's also a brief pause after you roll or slide, where you're like vulnerable, you can't move. Oh my gosh, this is so stupid. I 
I just know this game is going to be impossible to beat because there's going to be so many fights like this one in the game that we're going to get stuck on. I have to be like perfect with them. The fact that they have all these weapons and tools they can use sucks. I don't get any of that. Squad at 12 o'clock. Like, why can't I do more damage either? Oh, my combo is XXBBAAY. But what if one of those buttons turns out to be their counter? Then you're, you, you, there's no point in doing the combo. XXBBAAY. I'll try that. Can't even do it. Can't even do it. They keep interrupting you. That's what I'm saying. Like, they interrupt all your combos by just deciding that they're going to hit you now. The top down arrows. Oh, these are so you can change it, I guess, to whatever you want. Gonna make it B B B B B B B Y. How about that? Like <laughs> you can live in one combo? <laughs> oh gosh, this is so bad. I need invincibility to win this fight. I think we're getting very far in this game, guys. It's not personal, Pally. It's strictly business. Why'd you never come see me? Ow. Like, look at how much they, they combo, they, they counter everything you do. Every little freaking thing you do. Oh my gosh. These guys are so impossible to fight. So impossible. Really... Anytime I even try to hit anything other than the trigger, they they do that. I need to be able to block them. I just... <laughs> I can't do anything! Gosh, this is so freaking bad. Oh, this is so bad. How'd I end up over there? I don't think there's any getting good at this game. <laughs> there's no getting good at this freaking piece of crap. They just hound you. They could just... Their attacks cancel out everything you do. Every little thing you do. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this game is so bad. Like, is this trying to rival Catwoman? It really is saying, Catwoman who? Hold my beer, it says. Oh my gosh. At least I could beat Catwoman. I don't even think I could beat this. This is like literally impossible. Like they, they tether you every other second. They counter your every move. Because if you're not paying attention to exactly the button you're supposed to press in correlation with your camera angle. Then, uh, well, too bad when everything's moving a mile a minute and there's 18 enemies. I don't believe anything. I believe, I believe. I'm gonna die again. That's what I believe. And sometimes they're all red, so then you have to do this stupid slide move into them that they just end up countering anyways. Like, oh my gosh. And they can shoot you. It's stupid. 
So you try to run away, they just say, oh no, we're just going to shoot with our long range. There's got to be something that I can do here to like make this easier. This is incredibly difficult. Out of nowhere. I can't even tell who I'm fighting, where I where I am. <laughs> it looks like the game's skipping a hundred frames, doesn't it? First rule, all you guys die. <laughs> At least the dialogue's good. Sometimes I get the shield around them randomly. That means they counter any button I press. It's just like, ugh, it's so tedious to even like try to fight anybody. My lord. How long has it been? Not long enough. See how their counter is constantly changing to a different spot on the on the wheel. So you could be in the middle of a combo and then it just decides to change and then that's when they just counter you. See? Just change right there. Changed again as I was going for the attack. I, I can't with this game. I'm gonna get killed by these stupid guys. Again. I'm kicking his ass. If I can narrow it down to one. No! No! Get oh my gosh. Please give me a reliable dodge game. I got one. Oh my gosh. I'll make another freaking checkpoint. Uh, these guys are. S no, that's not fair. It's not fair that you can dodge and then shoot me. button to be pressing. This is... Alright, let's go get the other health before this guy kills me. He's shooting me. It's so, so lame. I hate this. Not fair. Oh my gosh. I'm so <laughs> Can't see him. Some kind of research thing. facility off the coast of Tokyo. Oh gosh. We got help. Change of plans. Reset the detonators. Can I get like a health upgrade or something? A shield? 
If I'm taking this much damage the rest of the game, there's no way. This is a terrible game. Man, this is one of the worst 360 games I think I have. I generally like, like, pretty much all the 360 games I have for the most part, except for a couple. Two Worlds 2 being one I don't like either, but... Man, this is bad. I don't think it's going to get any better. I think it's just going to get more frustrating. Alright, I don't think I'm going to play more of this tonight, but I am going to come back to this stupid game. I want to kind of... I'm kind of curious to see how far we can get in this. And uh, I want to look up like how long it is too. If it's not like that long, I will try to beat it, but my gosh. Yeah, I beat them. Finally. I got some crazy combos going somehow. I was just guessing right. <laughs> it's just luck, really. I was like, why, why, B, B, X, X, A, A. There was no rhyme or reason to what I, how I defeated them. Hands in the air. Now. Security breach detected. Sector five. I'm not playing Warning. anymore tonight, though. You, you don't belong here. Sector five. Don't belong here. All right, but we beat a couple levels in Jumper, guys. We'll see how far we get in part two. I don't even know. If there's codes for like more health, I'll probably even use that. Cause why not? I beat them and the game beat you. Fair fight, I know. Game beat me down. Yeah, we'll, we'll come back and see what we can do with that. But that's going to do it for tonight's stream, everybody. Um, thanks for watching on YouTube as well. If you end up watching on YouTube, first part of Jumper Outside. Recorded a few, few games tonight. So this was fun. It was a lot of fun. It's a nice night. Um, Scooby Snack, thank you, Mitsa. We'll have a fruit snack here. That's not a fresh one. Thank you for stopping in, everybody. Thank you, thank you. We'll have a sip of the peace tea as well. Yeah, this was fun. This is why I love doing these outside streams when I can. It just it does take a lot to set up. Like it takes a little while to set all this stuff up outside and move it when I'm away from home. Um, I have a sip of the piece too. I kind of want to try to do a stream at home outside at some point, but the mosquitoes are really bad there, so I don't know if that's the wisest idea. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys later. Everybody have a good night, good morning, good day, whatever it is. Appreciate you all so much. Keep yourselves safe. Enjoy your summer. This is a nice summer night of Xbox 360 gaming, except for Jumper. Um, and until next time, zero is the number. I have to get up to turn it right on.